Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore the concept of nested collection in Blue Prism. I will also walk you through a practical example to show you how to use nested collection. So let's get started. In previous video, we talked about collection, defined collection and undefined collection. I will recommend you to watch these video first. Now let's understand what is nested collection. A nested collection is a collection that contains another collection within it. This allows you to create multi-label data structure similar to having tables within the tables in a database. Now let's dive into Blue Prism Studio and set up an example process that demonstrate how to use a nested collection. In this example, we will create a nested collection to a store a list of departments and their employees. So first, we will create a main collection called department data. We'll take here this collection and this will be defined collection. So let's put here department data go to fields click on add put here department id make it text enter department id click on add this will be department name Type will be text, enter department name. Now we are going to create a nested collection within this department data collection. So click on add and now here we'll put the field name as a employees. So we'll have a department ID and then Based on that department ID, we'll have the list of employees stored in a collection. So in the type, we'll be select, selecting this as a collection. Collection of employees. Right side in the fields, you can see here it shows not defined. So this is the defined collection because we are initializing the fields and this is not defined if you we'll click on that it will show you this it means this is another collection which is not defined go back to main collection and click on initial values for now just click on single row and uncheck this for now we will just enter three department id and then we'll store the collection of employees which is related to this department id which is entered here and that collection, that list of employees will be adding on runtime. Let me create three. Why we are creating three here? Let me show you here. I have this employee master data, this Excel file. We have around 20 data related to the employee. If you'll see here, we have department ID, which has 10, 30 and 20. So basically 10, 20, 30. These three department ID we have 10 department ID assigned to the department name intelligent automation 20 assigned to finance 30 to HR so now based on this department ID will will be getting those employees and store to that one so let's go to this and here we will enter here 10 20 and 30 10 will be intelligent automation 20 will be Finance 30 will be HR. Okay, and these are these collections are empty right now, but will be updating on runtime. So let's click OK. Let's close this one. We'll go back to the studio. This one. So this is our main collection that is department underscore data. Now, we need to first read that data 
from this Excel file. So for that we'll have to take few actions to create an instance, open workbook, get Voxit as a collection and then close workbook. So we'll take action stage. Let me take four action stage. Let me do it like this so that we can see it on one page. Okay, so this action stage will take here MS Excel VBU and then we'll take create instance. Okay, in out output we'll take store this handle. We'll say here like create instance. Let me put here like this. Okay, second action will be for again open workbook. So we'll take MS Excel and then open workbook. So let me search for open workbook. This one. We need to pass that handle here and then file name. So file name will again take it from here. Shift right click and then copy as a path. Paste here. Go to output and then click on that. So it will store workbook name. Take this here. Now click on third action, select MS Excel VVU and then this time we'll get Voxit as a collection. Handle, workbook name and Voxit name. So Voxit name it was employee. Let's validate after opening this Excel file. So this is employees. Let's put here employees. Okay. Now go to output and create one collection. Let's click OK. Let's change the name of this collection. So this will be employees data collection. Go back to this and let's remove this first go back to output remove this and take this collection so we had basically this one employee underscore data okay now click ok after that fourth one is the closed workbook so we'll take here ms excel vbu and then we'll take close workbook this one will Again, pass the handle, workbook name, and then leave this because by default false, false. We don't want to save this. Now, remove this also. Click OK. Now, for now, just link this. Okay. So what we are planning here? First, we'll read this that Excel file as a data here. And this will be undefined collection and this is defined collection. After that, we'll loop through each employee basically from this department data. So we'll have three department here and based on this department, we'll be filtering out the data from that employee data from that Excel file and we'll store to this collection. So our purpose basically the example is to based on this department ID, we need to enter all the employees in this collection. So intelligent automation employee that department employee will be added to this collection. Finance employees will be added here. HR employees will be added to this one. So we'll be taking it from that Excel file. So first we'll loop through each department ID. So we'll take here loop stage. Double click on that. Put here loop start department. Select here department underscore data. So we are going to loop through this collection. Click OK. Change this name to loop and it is not loop start loop and click OK. Now after that. What we are going to do just to show you like which department is going to process. So we'll be taking each department ID here just to show you here. So I will take here one calculation stage and then 
put the name like so department id department id and for that what we'll do in expression we'll write department dot department id it means the collection dot department id so whatever value we'll have in that collection field will store into the one data item stage and that will be basically we'll call it as a department id we'll create one okay we'll do it like this now after showing the department we need to filter this employee data because we had like a 20 records for now so we are like we had like around few data re related to the intelligent automation few regarding the few related to the finance and then hr so first we have this value now we'll filter this so for that we'll take here one action stage double click on that now we are going to take this utility collection manipulation because we are going to manipulate that collection how we are going to manipulate by using filter collection in the filter collection first we need to enter the collection name so in this collection which shows that in so we are going, going to take this employees data so it will filter on this employee data collection which will be created by reading this excel file this list of employees here we need to enter the filter like how we are going to filter that so we'll say filter where the department id equals to this department id which we are going to take it by looping through here it means from this department so we have three so first department we will take we'll filter it from that excel file and whatever the data will get whatever the employee data will get will store back to this department that nested collection so for that click on this expression editor and then we'll say so you can see here we are filtering on the department so we have currently only one collection which shows that dot notation so we'll take this department id so we'll not completely take this department data dot department id. we'll not do like this one we'll just put like this this department id and as this accepts only text so we'll have to do it like this double quotes department id equals to let me put bracket and then we are going to take this department id from the data item stage so we'll put here and percent so where the department id is called equal to so let's say if we are uh, not going to get it from the this data item then we can directly put it here 10 right this is not required but we are not going to hard code this we are going to take it from that data item so we'll take here department id equals to this variable basically this data item that we created here by looping through that now it will filter like department id equal to 10 20 30 like that click on that now go to output and then we'll create one collection so that we can store this collection back to the main collection that is department id collection so we'll put here the data like filtered filtered collection or like filtered employee collection employee data collection like that now create this click ok ok let's do it like this now just link this here and then take here one calculation stage one more this why we are going to take it is because after filtering now we are getting this data here in the filter collection now we need to add this to this department data 
this collection this one which will be added here against each department id got it so we'll take here calc 1 and we'll say like add data to collection add employee data to collection and this time we'll take the complete collection that is our filtered collection and we'll pass to where to the nested collection which is a part of main collection that is department collection so if you see here department underscore data dot employees if you hover on this you'll see that data type collection and name employees so employees was basically a nested collection so we'll take this stored here so this filter collection data will be passed to that employees nested collection one right inside the department data collection that is the main collection now click ok okay now we are ready to link and then run that let's organize this first now what we are going to do let's reset refresh right click set next stage and just run one by one just to show you so create instance open workbook get worksheet as a collection now you can see here we have 20 records here next close the workbook loop through each department so department id so first you can see our department id is let me do like this department id is now 10 because it has started picking the first record this one now it's going to filter here now once it will filter we'll get the data here in the filtered collection okay now you can see here we have nine records where the department id is 10 you can see department id is 10 so we'll be now adding this this collection this 10 records 9 9 records sorry to the department data collection in this nested collection here next and now this has been added here because we passed from here now if we we'll double click on this one go to current value and you can see here against this department id we have nine rows it means we have nine employees which is part of this department now loop through again so now this time 20 process again now this time 30 process again and done now you can see here three rows completed go to current value and then you can see here nine records against this department id 10 six employees against 20 department id and five records against the this department id 30. first one you have already seen previously now the, here this is for 20 so this is for finance 20 go to this this is five regarding the hr that is 50 30 right so this is called nested collection where like we can store collection within collection so this is one collection and within another collection this is another collection that is employees now let's click next complete it refresh reset so by this way you can create a nested collection and you can use this nested collection in your process thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand the concept of nested collection in blue prism if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe if you have any question or suggestion feel free to leave them in the comments below until next time happy learning